Okay, for a simple idea, this is getting really complicated. I got a screen recorder recording, the video camera recording, an external screen recorder recording, and an audio recorder recording. But here, let's go. Today, what I wanna talk about is how you can increase your productivity by connecting to an external monitor. And I'm gonna do it in both Windows and Mac. So you might want to be able to do this so that way you can take advantage of an external monitor you have, give yourself a little bit of extra space to work with. Let's dive right into it, how you're going to do it on Windows. On Windows, and what you can see here is that um, both on my laptop screen and on the external monitor that I have a little bit over there, we're looking at the same exact thing. You see the desktop, you see the cursor, they're all doing the same thing. To change the settings from mirroring, which is what they're currently doing, uh, to extended desktop, I'm going to minimize everything, get to the desktop, right click, and go to display settings. From display settings, I see that I'm on the mirroring, that's what this 1-2 means. I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom to the multiple displays, drop down, and extend the displays. Click on that, keep the changes, and now when I look at it, I have two different things going on. On my laptop screen, I've got this display settings window, and on the external monitor, I've got nothing it's just uh, a desktop and so let's open up a web browser and send that over there i'm going to use some keyboard shortcuts windows right to shift it all the way up and then windows up to make it full screen so now on one screen i've got my on this screen over here i've got my windows settings display settings and on that screen over there i've got two different things so i'm working on two different things at the same time sometimes people like to put email on one side and whatever they're working on the right or maybe they're looking at a pdf here taking notes on it on the other hand, on the other side, lots of different ways you can kind of divide up your workspaces. But now, essentially, your monitor is twice as big. So think of it as you've just got extra real estate right here, right off to the side of your computer. Now, when you get to the courtroom, the same concept is what's going to drive a lot of the trial presentation software that you work with. Instead of showing everything, what everyone, what's on your laptop, including your icons, your file names, your desktop background of your kids or your dog. You're gonna show them something that you want to show them, not something that you're accidentally showing them. And so you're gonna have your trial presentation software on your laptop or your iPad. And on the extended screen, you're gonna have nothing unless you want to show them something. So that's what those trial presentation software programs let you do is really have fine-tuned control of what the jurors see. But the setup in terms of configuring it hardware-wise is the same. You have your laptop or your iPad, and you have an external monitor, but instead of it being right here onto the right hand side, it's a huge jury projection screen and that's what the jurors are gonna look, look at. So to you, it's a huge projection screen. It's very different than a monitor, but to your computer or to your iPad, it's just another monitor. It's just another external device that it's connected to and that's how you should really think about it. So let's switch out from here and now let's show you how to do the exact same thing, but in a Mac. All right, now I've got the Mac set up and I'm gonna show you how to extend monitors uh, in Mac OS. So instead of right clicking on the desktop like we did on a PC, we're gonna scroll up to the top of this taskbar and click this icon over here that looks a little bit like a TV. And we're gonna select the option that says use as a separate display. And so now instead of seeing the same thing on both the Mac and on the external monitor, we see the same thing that was on the Mac before, but now we see a completely different desktop background on the Mac. Uh, and that's because uh, the way Macs handle extended monitors or external monitors. So on a Mac, every monitor that you're connected to, if it's more than one, is treated differently. So you could put a different picture or background on each screen. Uh, it doesn't work that way in Windows and Windows. Whatever you put on one goes on the rest. And so here, if we want to change the desktop background from this nature landscape, we have to go over to the external monitor, and I'm just going to scroll to the right and either right click or kind of two finger tap and choose the option for change desktop background. Once I select that, we'll get two pop-up windows and those pop-up windows, each one will control what's on the background for each monitor, right? So I see one on the left and one on the right. And so I'm gonna scroll down on the monitor that I wanna change and select solid colors. That's usually what I prefer. So we'll do that, change solid color. And then I usually just pick like a dark, dark, dark gray. And then mouse over. 
And there it is. Once I've selected that, now I can close this. I'm going to mouse back over to my Mac, close the desktop and screen saver options, and I have two separate workspaces that I can work with. I have my MacBook laptop screen, which has a couple of icons on it, and then I have a completely clean second monitor that I can work with. And so I can put email on one side and then something else that I want to work with on the other. And so I'll, I'll just open up two tabs so we can see what that looks like. I've got two tabs here in Chrome and I'll bring that over to the other side. So on this one, I can pull up say LinkedIn. If I need to look at LinkedIn and then on my laptop screen, I can pull up say Buzzfeed. So now you can see I have two separate monitors with two different kinds of content on there. So I can just be more productive this way or maybe less productive if I'm reading a lot of Buzzfeed, but I can have more things up at the same time that I'm looking at. So that way I'm not constantly minimizing and re-maximizing different apps. Um, so that's how you would set up extended desktop on both PC or on a Mac. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, put them in the comments and I'll uh, be happy to talk to you guys down there. Or if you have a multi-monitor setup that's more than two monitors, so I mean three monitors or more, and you're in the legal space, whether it's litigation, litigation support, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear about how you're using it and what you need all those monitors for.